everybody, this is Raven from Raven Dream Bricks and today I am gonna show you the progress of my Inmove hit or a review of it and what I've been doing so let me just take off the top skull real quick already glued all of the parts so I screw this too so this all attached go over there go over there now we're gonna look at the skull as you can see I also make a Lego stand. Oh, there you go. The size of the screw hole, the length of the the distance of the screw hole is exactly the same as for my Lego Technic pin hole. So yeah. All right. So now I'm gonna take off the head real quick. This is the ring that connects the head and the neck. And it's the head and the neck. So, I'm gonna talk about the head for now. I'm gonna put the neck aside for there. Right, so I've done a couple changes for the head. You might notice some already. Whoop. As you can see, I've already glued this jaw holder. So now it's tightened in place. Because when it's not glued, it just fell, fell apart real quick. Now it's glued. So, yeah. And I'm also gonna print later a little part here. So, it locks the jaw. The jaw brace. So, that's about it for the jaw. And for the eyes, I've done a couple of modifications. Let me just take it out. As you can see, I've cut the front skull here. Cut it. So, we have this eye. So, we can put on the eye holder and also already attach one of the eyes there you go I've cut both sides so technically now it's more open I did this so that the brace over here is way stronger as you can see I already glued this thing three parts I glued one two and three for the ear cover so yeah that's the head and the eyes and the eye holder too I mean the eye glass so this is the servo the servo holder or the servo cradle this servo will go to this piston or yeah piston or actuator in this case this piston will go over like that there's like a little white gear thing that moves this around guy and this guy will move the jaw up and down as you can see let me just simplify this part goes in the hole in the back hole of the there you go this little hole there of the jaw holders and then this servo and the cradle will so let me just continue with the video cut out anyway so the motor or the servo will attach right there as you can see right there it will move this jaw up and down So yeah, this motor is moved the jaw and I already wait let me take this out a little bit. I already sandpaper and filed the jaw holder. I mean the servo cradle. I've done it with the small one so as I've done it with the big one. I've done it with this one too. Let me just grab the servo real quick. This is the big servo. I'm using high tech HS 085 PB plus mega outer scale this is actually pretty big so yeah I already smoothed it so this servo will go to the neck or to move the head in this case it's gonna go like this okay pull that 
Now I can slide it through. Since I already filed it, there you go. It's in. And then this servo will attach over here. It's actually supposed to attach to the back one, but I'll figure that out. It's supposed to attach to that servo, but I'll figure that one out. So, yeah. Oh, wait, sorry, mistaken. My bad. Forgot. The 17. Oh, right. So, sorry. <laughs> What I meant was this servo was supposed to attach to the front one, the front part. Supposed to attach like that. And it's gonna move this gear. And there. So when the servo moves, the gear move. And when the gear move, since there's a gear here, it's gonna move the head. And yeah. Okay. So let me just take this out real quick. And take the servo out too. And now I'm going to talk about the eye. For the eye, as you can see, I already built one. I already insert one. Though it's a bit hollow, I still going to need a camera inside. So let me just grab you a little see-through of an eye. Okay, so this is the eye part. There's some eye parts here too. Just open this. Okay, so you're supposed to put the camera in here, in this little hollow part where the camera will stick out of the hole and soon the image will see yeah these are all the parts that we need for the eye too for the eye mechanism so yeah I already also stick an eyeglass to the eye mechanism and yep I already print another version 2 of the eye holder too notice this little slanted piece the slanted piece there, right over here, will make it so it doesn't hit this jaw brace. I I accidentally put it when I first put the eye, eye in, the eye holder in. I accidentally put it wrongly, so it's just gonna hit this. Now it's already fixed. So yeah, this is the servo mount. It, this, this servo mount will mount two servos only. First going to the back like that and second one is the big boy. For the small one I'm using a MG995 from Tower Pro. For the big one I use high tech HS805 BB plus. So yeah, those are the surfos. Although you can use a hobby king for the tower pro to replace the tower pro which is the small servo no that servo moves the neck and the jaw and you will also need one of this 180 or a 90 degree oh it is a 180 degree servo it's a tiny one but tower pro too this is a sg90 oh, okay let me just straighten that you're gonna need one one of this servo to be up on this mount. As you can see, there's little little holes there. I haven't poked it out though, and I also haven't filed it, so I can't put the servo in right now. But technically, the servo will be up here, mounted, of course, bolt or well, not bolt, screwed, and the wait, let me just the tip of the servo, the part over there will attach to either this side or that side so it's gonna move the nose it's gonna move this nose here up and down with the part here with this part this part is gonna move the nose up and down I mean the eye it's gonna move it up and down so from the outside that's pretty much it and then that's left and right That's the head, I mean that's the eye. The jaw, I mean it's already pretty good. I already filed everything, I removed the braces. And for the glue I am using a bar stick. 
or a paste glue in this case you can use any glue you want actually but I prefer to use this because even though I already glue it you can still adjust it a bit just in case you didn't glue it properly so yeah so what I'm gonna do now is I am gonna attach the part well not attach the part I'm not gonna do now but I'm gonna print the part that's gonna lock this jaw so as you can see right now the jaw is a bit on the loose side I can just move it like that and it's loosened and this part will drop so I'm just gonna put this down for a second right so yeah that that part will keep moving so it's this part that's why I need another part here to close it I've also done a little bit of a paint job with this guy this is the ear I've made it into the little crustus dummy for the car thing fits pretty well I'm just try to put on the skull very quick Oop. you can see the ear fits right in here there you go the video went out but anyways the ear is supposed to attach like this and then I could just probably do a little sandpaper for every skull here and then I can paint it like this one too just need to match it with the crystal dummy I'm painting the other ear right now it's outside being sun sun dry I mean but, yep. eyes I glued the eye to the eyeglass I mean the top front skull to the eyeglass so yeah I modified my in-move a lot I already glue it I cut it I even make different parts to lock it but after all and I paint it too apparently so yeah that's all this the more eye parts this I should attach this to the eyeball now but I need as I was saying I need to file and send this parts first if I want to put it in the eyes eye socket or the eyeball so well that's all for today folks don't forget to like subscribe and share thank you very much for watching thank you everybody and yeah you can make your own Lego stand instead of printing one of those neck looking stand for your head but you can do it you can see this that's exact that's the exact hole I'm using a Technic brick and Technic lift arms and that's all so yep as I was saying that's all for today folks don't forget to like subscribe and share thank you everybody thank you for watching bye bye so that is all for today don't forget to like subscribe and share and also this is finally yep, the end of my in move head review for today I've put in all the servo and stuff. I've cut and glued stuff too. As you can see, it's, this part is already glued together. So, yep. Yeah, the ear. <laughs> Stuck in the ship. So, that is all for today. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and share. Thank you, everybody.